How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech. So let's say your iPhone is running iOS 16 beta just like mine is, but you don't want the beta anymore. You want to remove the beta, you want to get rid of that beta profile, and you don't want to get beta updates anymore. All you want is to get the official final software updates, just like everyone else. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that, and it's super simple. Because all you have to do is go ahead and open up your settings, and then you're going to scroll down a bit until you see general, and then you're going to scroll down until you see VPN and device management. It's kind of hidden, right? So then tap here, and then you see configuration profile, and that's where it lives. As you can see, iOS 16 beta software profile. And this method works for both betas. So it doesn't matter if we're on the public beta or the developer beta, it's the exact same thing, right? So you can tap here on the profile and then remove profile. And right here, you're gonna need to type in your passcode. That's your lock screen passcode. So type it in and then tap on done. Now you're gonna need to confirm once again that you wanna remove it and then it'll say that a restart is required. So then restart now, and then let the iPhone restart automatically. You don't need to do anything, just wait a few seconds until it boots up again. Now, all you have to do is swipe up, and then of course, type in your passcode, and then tap on OK. And as you can see, iPhone unlocked, and we're good. And then you're probably thinking, okay, but how can I actually get a final public official version of iOS. And you don't really need to worry too much because all you have to do is go to your settings and then tap on general once again, and then software update and let it check for updates. Let it do its thing, it's checking as you can see right here. As you can see here, iOS is up to date, 16.0. So in my case, I don't have to do anything. My iPhone is already updated, I'm already running the latest version possible, so I don't need to do anything. So all I have to do now is wait, because when there's a next available software update, it'll show up right here, and all I have to do is update normally. And this next software update that'll show up right here, when it does, it'll be a official software update. It will not be a beta anymore because we have deleted the beta profile. So on this iPhone, I'll never get betas anymore, of course, unless I install the beta profile once again. But now that I have deleted it, I'm not getting betas anymore on this iPhone. All of the new software updates that will show up will be normal, regular, final, public, software updates like everyone else is getting. So all you have to do is this, delete the beta profile, check for software updates, and then when the next shows up, update, and you're good to go. That's literally it. You don't need to do anything else. So that's it, and I'll see you on the next video as usual. Bye-bye.